Most will agree that every child is a gift from above, a treasure to cherish. But what if the child has special needs? Say, for instance, a birth defect. Birth defects can be minor, with the newborn appearing and acting normally. Alternatively, birth abnormalities can be more serious. Some birth abnormalities result in a single issue. Others wreak havoc on several body systems and organs. However, what will happen if the parents or the family of these poor souls cannot accept the truth? What would be the future of these little angels? Join me today as we retell the story of She gave birth to a legless child and left him in the hospital and 20 years later she saw him on TV. But before we dig down deep, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get updated whenever a new video is published. Where it started. A prosperous guy named Leonid, on the other hand, is indeed very pompous and just does not want to chat much to his wife, Violetta, who was wedded to him via letters. She just cares about work and just runs a clothing and accessory company through letters, spending most of her time there and neglecting her home. Leonid saw that his wife, Violetta, had ditched him and had gone to sleep in another chamber. Valentina, a new housekeeper, arrived at their home to clean the flat and prepare the meal. Valentina is a stunning brunette, she has blue eyes, golden hair, and is tall, but she is poor. So she went out looking for work and came up empty-handed. So she started working as a maid, and only briefly, for Leonid had fallen in love with Valentina after seeing her. As Violetta, his wife, discouraged him from doing so, he loosened his libido. As a result, he requires a lady in his life who can enjoy herself on her own terms. When Violetta was sleeping in the night time, Leonid walked to Valentina's chamber and then said to her that he understands Valentina requires funds at this time and asked her if she thought he would lend her money in return for coming with him to his chamber. As they stayed up all night together, Leonid told her to not be scared of him and added that she will be rewarded for the very same thing she's looking for. He demanded that Valentina have five minutes to do the deed. He kept on persuading Valentina to keep her options smart. She felt a fit of sudden anger, following a spark of hesitation at that very moment. Valentina initially declined. However, she reasoned that she really needed the funds to cover her poor mother's travel to the hospital in an ambulance. Her mother has cancer and requires a large sum of money. Valentina was terrified, and yet she didn't have much choice but to make things easier for her mother since she wouldn't get that much in return. Valentina responded quickly, all bet through Leonid. She was indeed desperate for money. In the first place, that will save her mother from dying due to her cancer. Valentina abruptly asked Leonid a question he wasn't expecting. Coming from her, what do you say about assisting me in obtaining funds? The bridge was crossed. However, Leonid does not want to offer the lady in many ways, to which Valentina immediately responded that she is a woman of dignity and honour. Much to her dismay, Leonid said that he won't ever give her anything, not unless she spends the whole night in his room. Given that she needed money, Valentina agreed, since she didn't have any other option for saving her poor mother's life. She, sad to say, ended up going to Leonid's room and did follow every demand of whatever he would want. With having all these fantasies towards Valentina, Leonid did not bother to mind his wife Violetta. Not even once did she cross his mind. Valentina came back to her chamber the next day, sobbing uncontrollably as she had done it for cash. She wished to just save her mother in just about any manner she can since she was just about to pass away. This is really Laskovus and a nasty piece of work who only attempts to achieve his own needs and wants and is unconcerned about the needs of others. Before things had happened, Valentina initially asked for a loan from him without doing anything about him. He used her to his obvious benefit. Leonid had shifted to Valentina and presented her with a gift and he proceeded to her mum right away when he was apt to pay for the medical procedure and transport her to the hospital. Months passed and Valentina began to experience stomach pain and exhaustion, fruit of the sinful act. Valentina was then informed by her physician that she had been expecting a child, and that very moment she felt a pang of pain, shocked and was taken aback. It seemed she had little idea what she should do, since she doesn't have any resources to pay for the next child. 
Valentina informed Leonid that she had been expecting a child. Lee became enraged and exclaimed, saying that she is pregnant by someone else instead of taking the fall. She was dumbfounded at what he said. All she can fathom is him accusing her that she is running after him to tie him up with her and is only interested in his money. She was shooed as if she was a dog. He also threatened Valentina that he will be suing her if she tries to contact him ever again. Leonid is fully aware that somehow this child is his. However, he doesn't want him, nor a connection with the child's mother. Valentina cried a great deal, yet she decided to try to endure all the responsibilities and support the baby on her own. What will then now happen to the mother and child? After a few months, she managed to give birth to a healthy baby named Sergi. Valentina seemed to be upset since she discovered the child was born without legs. She is unable to embrace this angel because he is disabled and she cannot sustain him. At first, she is reluctant as well as unsure about what to do. She doesn't really want to leave the baby behind in the hospital and she also appears to know that his father, Leonid, and the hospital would never be of assistance to them. And besides, her daily life is as hard as a rock. She doesn't have enough extra income to raise him, particularly when she was frustrated when she discovered he didn't have any legs. Valentina is really not compassionate. She dropped Sergi off at the medical facility and wrote a letter beside him. Please, raise this baby whoever discovers him. I won't be able to bring him along. I don't have any money. The Abandoned Angel. Arthur, a hospital director, was just about to exit when he noticed a newborn with a letter and he took the baby home with him just to raise him. Arthur is a warm and caring individual with a sentimental heart. Arthur made the decision to keep the baby and assist him in all aspects of life. Sergi grew up to be 20 years old after many years. Sergi is intelligent despite his lack of legs. He didn't even lose self-esteem. As a result, Arthur is his backbone. At Sergi's birthday celebration, Arthur planned a huge surprise and informed him that a TV program had contacted Arthur because they wanted to feature Sergi on the show's plan. Sergi squealed with delight. He was likely to succeed in inventing a device to reduce water consumption and he's received numerous awards. Arthur went to the program with Sergi that day and was asked by the talk show host whether he was his son or not. In all seriousness, he said with all sincerity that Sergi is someone he adores. The love of a father. Arthur then retells Sergi's story about how he discovered him in the hospital. However, the biggest shock was when Valentina, the bereaved mother, saw her very own son on broadcast TV. Someone she had decided to leave in the hospital 20 years ago. The mother cried and cried, almost shouting, forgive me, my son. Valentina lamented the fact that she's never spent more time with her son and attempted to contact Arthur. And yet, time refused to cooperate. Then again, he didn't think she was a decent mother and wouldn't even come to terms with Sergi since he requires special care. He did warn her that if she did not comply, he would indeed imprison her. He started to tell his story. That's when he had his son Sergi. He was equipped to confront the challenging situations of raising a child with a disability. Still, he did not anticipate the occurrence would be coming from outside of their hospital building. He has always been baffled about why friends seem to fly away from his life like flies. But then again, he was gifted by the existence of Sergi. His mental health has been affected by taking care of Sergi. He doesn't even have a lot of free time. Because Arthur's schedule is changing all the time, it's tricky for him to stick to any of them. His son's care has left Arthur physically and emotionally exhausted. As a result of his high stress lifestyle, he lacked tolerance. He also is easily irritated by others whenever Arthur is angry. But one thing for sure as he continued telling his story, Sergi has given him more than enough and vice versa to his son. They were destined to meet and take good care of one another. And that is all for today's video. What do you think would happen if Valentina did raise Sergi? How do you believe Valentina would react if she had had all the support she needed? Is it justifiable that you were shocked and confused to leave your child elsewhere? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Before leaving, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get updated on our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.